Hello you guys and welcome back to Brittany Home and Crafts. I have a very exciting winter slash Christmas DIY to share with you guys. So just so you are aware, I am in a hotel room right now. It's actually past checkout and I am doing a late checkout. So hopefully my fiance gets here soon. Anyways, if you hear a vacuum, if you hear some trucks or cars or you know why. <laughs> All right. So, the first thing you're going to need is a board, any kind of board, doesn't matter. This is the type of board I had. Um, and you are going to use some stain. I will link this stain down in the description. I absolutely love this stuff. I basically only use um, golden oak. Well, this is golden pecan. It's very similar. It's just got more of an orangish red undertone to it which I'm not usually a fan of. However, this particular stain is pretty nice. All right, so as you've seen, I said, no, 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 no. Don't start putting Mod Podge on first. <laughs> you need to seal it. So I basically just added layer upon layer of disaster. I not only added the Mod Podge, instead of taking it off first, I added the sealer, as you see, the white underneath. I had to then take my metal scraper and scrape it off and then start over. But here we are after that, and you can see the board turned out fantastic, so it's all good. <laughs> and now we're just going to add that Mod Podge back on and start, and you need to add a very, very thick layer, by the way. And then we're just going to start adding our faux snow. And I did leave rims uh, or um, the edges of the board in some areas uh, naked because I wanted you to be able to see that beautiful stain. So I just piled on the snow and then I dumped, like I dumped it off and then I dripped the Mod Podge on and then added more to the bare spots. Now get out your fabric, any type of fabric, your preference, doesn't matter. I chose Buffalo Check. It goes great with Christmas. It goes great with everything. I'm just going to cut a, um, I didn't go by a particular measurement. What I did was I laid the board on top and then I did about a two inch rim all the way around. And I'm working with, you know, um, leftover fabric. So I kind of had to make it a little bit smaller than what I want it to. I probably would have been I probably would have done three to four inches around, but it's all good. So I'm just gonna take my Aileen my Aileen's fabric glue. This stuff is pretty good. I have not had an issue with it and it does not make the seams of your fabric hard, which is really nice. So you're just gonna fold over those seams. Now what you can do and I didn't really feel like doing or have time to do um, you can put in some underlayment in the middle um, or some um, whatever that stuff is called that you add uh, to upholstery in the middle and then you'll use two different fabrics either two of the same or two different fabrics to sandwich that uh, and then you would be able to place hot dishes on it and it would protect your um, furniture a little bit or your tabletop a little bit better so Right, guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe turn that bell on so you'll get all your notifications like this video leave me a comment letting me know how you feel about this diy or any diys you would like to see in the future thanks for watching